In this session, we are going to see how to simulate UART reception and transmission program using Proteus Simulator. So here I have already opened a circuit that I have designed for serial transmission. So if you want to see how you have designed the circuit, you can go and refer my previous video. And how to design a basic circuit using LPC2148, you can refer it from the LED blinking program experience what I have already done. So here you have seen that TX pin of LPC2138 has been connected to RX pin of virtual terminal. So this was done for the uh, simulation of serial transmission using LPC2138. Now what you are going to do is you need to perform serial reception and then transmission of that character back to the PC using Proteus. So for that I am going to connect RX pin of LPC2148 to TX pin of virtual terminal. So what will happen? Whatever character it is transmitted from the virtual terminal can be received by the PC. Right? So through this line, whatever character you are transmitting from PC will be sent to the ARM. So the ARM can receive that character and after receiving the character, that character will be sent back to the PC through this line. That is uh, through the TX line to the RX line of this PC. Right? So uh, in this experiment, you are transmitting a character from the PC through this line. Right? That same character will be received by the ARM and the received character will be sent back to the PC through this line. That is what you are going to see. So for running the program, you need to uh, show the program to the microcontroller. So you can double click on this microcontroller. You can click on this program file. Then select URTX RXTX pro, uh, dot hex file. So this is for the serial reception and transmission. Clock frequency is 12 MHz. Then you can run the simulation. So when you are running the simulation, uh, uh, the virtual terminal will be like this. So what you need to do? You need to transmit the character from virtual terminal to ARM. So how will you transmit a character? For transmission as well as reception of a character in PC can be done through hyper terminal. So the virtual terminal is the simulation model of hyper terminal in PC. right? So instead of sending the uh, character through hyper terminal in the real uh, hardware connection here you are using virtual terminal instead of hyper terminal so using the virtual terminal you are going to receive as well as transmit a character to and from the arm microcontroller so here you are going to send a character from the pc to arm so for that you need to click on this terminal right First, you need to click on this virtual terminal. Then you can press the character in the keyboard. Right? So you need to click on the virtual terminal. Then only the virtual terminal will be activated. Then when you are pressing a character in the keyboard, what will happen? It is simulating a serial transmission of a character from PC to ARM. Right? So this virtual terminal is acting as a simulation model of hyper terminal. So when I am pressing a character in the keyboard, you are sending that character through the TX line of this virtual terminal. So through the TX line of this virtual terminal, it is sent to uh, ARM. ARM will receive it and the received character is sent back. That is why it is displayed here. right? Because whatever character you are transmitting from the PC won't be displayed in the hyper terminal or virtual terminal. Whatever character you are transmitted will not be displayed here. But then why the character, how the character is displayed here? Right? Normally when you are transmitting a character from PC through virtual terminal, it will not be displayed. But now it is getting displayed. How it is done? For that, whatever character you are transmitting from PC, first it will be received in ARM through the RX line. And that same character will be transmitted back. Right. That same character will be transmitted back. So what will the PC do? Whatever character is transmitted from the ARM will be received in PC. Right? That is why it is getting displayed. So all the characters which are received in PC will be displayed here. Right? So in order to identify or in order to verify 
the correctness of the character what you have transmitted from PC to ARM. What does ARM do? ARM will receive it and it will transmit it back. So PC can receive it. And whatever character is received in PC will be displayed here. That is why you are getting here. In order to check whether the uh, uh, whatever I have told is right, what you will do? You can go to Keel. You can disable or you can command these two lines. These two lines are required for transmission of a received character back to PC. Right. So now I have commanded the transmission portion. Then I am building it again. Then you can go to Keel. Right. So whenever you are making a change in the program, you need to stop the simulation. Right, and no need of loading the program again. Why there is no need of loading the program because in the same project I am making the change. So, whenever I am making the change and when I am giving build, new hex file will be created. Right, but the name of the hex file will be the same. So, since until the name of the hex file is not changing, no need of loading it again. So, you can give OK, then you can run. Right. Again, you can click on virtual terminal, click on virtual terminal, then click a character, press a character in the keyboard. So whatever character you are pressing in the keyboard, now it is not getting displayed here. Why it is not getting displayed? Because when you are pressing a character in the keyboard, that character will be sent from this TX of virtual terminal to RX. So the, virtual, so the arm will receive it, right? but it is not getting transmitted back. It is not transmitted back. Why? Because I have commanded the transmission line. So since the arm is not transmitting it back again, it is not getting displayed. Right? Then uh, I can, I am again uncommenting those two lines. So the received character will be transmitted back. So I will build, build again. Then stop the simulation. Run again. So now click on the virtual terminal and press A in the keyboard or S in the keyboard or D in F in the keyboard, whatever character you are typing, what will happen? That character will be sent from virtual terminal to the RX. So ARM will receive it and transmitting back. So now you have enabled the two lines for transmission. That is why that character is getting displayed here, right? So this is, this is how you are receiving a character through ARM from PC and retransmitting it back to the PC that is why you are getting it here.